Hey guys, I'm Lauren Rosado with Comp Performance Group and today I'm going to talk to you about hydraulic roller lifters, go over some realistic expectations as well as proper setup and troubleshooting. First off, as with many performance parts, hydraulic roller lifters are designed to allow more aggressive valve train movement. Most times, if you're installing performance lifters, you're also installing a more aggressive cam. Performance cams are designed for performance, and sometimes that requires compromises in NVH levels. This guy can explain it in more detail, but that's a story for another day. Bottom line, creating horsepower is the goal, and a little extra engine noise is just a small price to pay. To minimize excessive valve train noise, proper prep and installation is necessary. When preparing to install your lifters, visually inspect them to make sure they weren't damaged in shipping. While not mandatory, it's a good idea to rinse the lifters in clean mineral spirits. If you use the mineral spirits to clean them, you must coat them again in motor oil. Doing so ensures the lifters are completely free of debris and that the lifter surfaces are lubricated prior to installation. Remember all those times dear old mom would remind you about being clean? It's kind of important. Any amount of debris, especially in a new engine, can be detrimental to proper lifter operation. In fact, debris is the number one cause of lifters failing to pump up, leading to excessive noise. All right, let's get down to business of installations and adjustments. With your cam installed, simply place the lifters in the bores. Pay attention to the link bars to verify the arrow is oriented in the correct way. When you're installing the lifters, be sure they fit the lifter bores well. Any excess clearance or tight lifters can cause damage to the camshaft and ultimately, engine failure. After doing all this, do you still find the valve train chatter a bit excessive? The correct amount of lifter preload is important to help efficiently control the valve train. Insufficient preload will cause valve train noise, while too much preload may damage the hydraulics of the lifter, cause low manifold vacuum, and rob power. We suggest lifter preload should be set a quarter to a half turn of the wrench on the rocker arm adjusting nut past zero lash for optimal performance. Not sure how to do that? Well, we actually have a video that helps explain that process too. Just look for the link in the description below. I hope this video has been helpful in settling your concerns about hydraulic roller lifters. However, if you still have some questions, don't hesitate to call our CAM Help Tech Line. We're here Monday through Friday and Saturdays too. As always, remember to subscribe to our channel and leave me a couple of comments and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.